koga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko kabano tase makipuna mali tuta odmiska chikos pa ini kudad iji gliska chanagawa I'm Supreme Commander Rands of the Republic. It's an honor to speak with someone who's done so much to help the cause. By defeating the Emperor, you've dealt a crippling blow to his followers. You single-handedly turned the tide of this war. The Republic already owes you a debt it can never repay. But I'm calling because we need your help again. The Empire is in total disarray. What threat can they pose now? Don't underestimate the Empire. We made that mistake once, and Coruscant was nearly destroyed. As a Jedi, I'm sure you're familiar with the ice world of Ilum. It's one of the galaxy's primary sources of lightsaber crystals. The remnants of the Empire's forces have invaded Ilum en masse. We sent reinforcements, but they're getting overwhelmed. If this is the Empire's last gasp, I would have expected them to strike at a more populated world. Ilum's not your typical target. This is a raid, pure and simple. They're trying to strip the planet bare. The crystals on Ilum are unique, and the Empire has found a way to use them to amplify cloaking systems. With enough crystals, they could build an invisible armada, an entire fleet capable of striking any Republic world without warning. Give me a breakdown of the enemy forces. Darth Arho is leading the assault. He's hitting us with everything they've got. Elite military units, mercenaries, bounty hunters, and Sith Lords. Report to the Republic space station orbiting Ilum ASAP. A shuttle will take you down to the surface. We're using the Jedi Temple as a makeshift headquarters for our operations. Meet me there and I'll give you a full briefing. Rand's out. Chechopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. Commander Rance is waiting for me at the Jedi Temple. I bet he's not. Darth Arho's troops have taken over the temple. Commander Rance and the others barely made it out alive. Had to set up their command post in an unsecured field. You need to speak to Commander Rance. I can take you there. Get on board and hold tight. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Good, you're here. As you can see, we need all the help we can get. Let me introduce our allies. Master Bowden of the Jedi, and Commanders Karawar, Giandar, and Yetjub. No, Karawar. The attack on the temple is to distract us from Darth Arho's true goal. Just as the peace talks blinded us before the sacking of Coruscant. If we don't hit them at the temple, then where do we strike? The Imperials want Ilum's crystals. They're using deep miners to drill into the planet's core. The excavations leave massive sinkholes. The entire world's becoming unstable. If we don't stop them, Ilum could literally crack in two. Mem amgap kugap. Kramanik. Umka kiga mayamak. After you've cleared each mine, call us and we'll send reinforcements in to hold the area. I understand completely. Stopping the deep miners won't end this. Unless we locate the Imperial Command Post, they'll figure out another way to harvest Ilon's crystals. Good idea. After you disable each deep miner, download the mine's terminal data log. Bring all the data to Agent Sam Bradbur at the Communications Center for analysis. The fate of Ilum is in your hands. May the Force be with you. Secure the first excavation site and scan the communications terminal. Well done. We'll send a team to secure the mine while you head to the next one. the last mine. Everything's all clear. Get that transmission data to Sam Bradbury. He's waiting for you at the Republic Communications Center. It's 
Agent Bradbur, I've got the data from all the mine terminals. You Jedi types do good work. Rans was smart to put you on this. Let me contact him while this data's decrypting. Supreme Commander Rans here. Master Bowden is with me too. Do we have the location of the Imperial Command Center? Just got the coordinates. Looks like the orders are coming from a small Imperial base on the ground. SIS scouted it before, but didn't think it was important enough to have priority. With the whole planet under siege, Arho knew Republic intelligence would overlook something so minor. I doubt Darth Arho's actually there. SIS reports you he likes to stay clear while someone else handles things on the front lines. He probably put his personal apprentice in charge. Lord Loyat is every bit as cruel and ruthless as her master. SIS has a file on her. Pretty good to the lightsaber. Killed at least a dozen other Sith during her time on Korriban. Never punished for it. Arho protected Loyat. Their relationship goes deeper than master and apprentice. If we capture Loyat, maybe we can use her as leverage against Darth Arho. Darth Arho is consumed by the dark side. He will cast her aside when she ceases to be useful. You can try to arrest her if you think that's best. But I won't miss her if she winds up dead. Once the base is out of commission, report back to Agent Bradbur. Good luck. It's over, Lord Loyat. So, Rans has sent the great champion of the Jedi to challenge me. Your martial skills are legendary, but you will not succeed here. You have no idea what torment you are about to suffer. I am Darth Arho's personal apprentice. Those who hear my master's name tremble in fear. I don't see your master anywhere. It's just you and me. You know nothing of my Darth Arho. He embodies all the Dark Council represents. His wrath is legendary. Master, hurry to my side. Together we will destroy these Republic fools. Darth Arho, can you hear me? It is I, Lord Loyat. Master, are you there? Did you really believe he'd risk himself to save you? For a Sith Lord, you still have a lot to learn about the dark side. He wouldn't abandon me. This... this must be a test. Yes, a test of my strength. I will destroy you myself, and prove to my master I am worthy to serve him. <laughs> Stop! I yield! I yield! I can't let you live. Then make it quick! Take whatever you can carry. Wipe everything else clean. Let's go! We're mobile in five minutes! What's going on? Our host troops just raided our command post. Massive casualties on both sides. Our boys drove him off, but the imps captured Supreme Commander Rans. Gian Dars ordered everyone back to the command post. Is this a retreat, or is he massing troops for a counterattack? Your guess is as good as mine. Grab your gear and head back. Gian and the others will want to speak with you. We'll be right behind you. If we storm the temple, Darth Aho might kill the Supreme Commander. We lost Commander Jubb in the attack. We can't afford to lose Rans, too. Mem Amgap Kugap. Kramanik. Umka Kiga Mayamak. Arho will be guarding against a direct assault, but I could sneak into the temple without him knowing. <coughs> Smashing your head against a problem isn't the only way to solve it. Sometimes you need a plan. Alan Giga Akapa. Greetings, Republic Commanders. My name is Darth Maldus. Time is short, so I will be blunt. I've been providing Supreme Commander Rans information to help him defeat Darth Aho. I'm here to offer you the same.
Let me guess. Arho's one of your main rivals within the Empire, so you're using the Republic to eliminate him. More or less. The war is over. The Republic won. If we keep fighting, you will destroy us. I accept this. Darth Arho does not. He's a member of the Dark Council, but he's a thug. The Council needs someone more... progressive. If the Empire hopes to survive. Someone like you, I suppose. Openly opposing Arho would draw the wrath of the Dark Council. But by helping you eliminate him, we both get what we want. You're a Sith. You use lies and deception to get what you want. I'm only here to provide information. Whether you choose to use it is up to you. Come on, Nemega, Nakaka. Manalak Laki, Napi Nekamaraka. They're holding him in a secret POW camp. The perimeter is ringed with droid defended security towers. Any breach will set off the alarm. I'm transmitting the location of the camp and the codes to disable the tower alarms. Use them as you see fit. Are we really going to trust a Sith Lord? Kamperem Ganyam Pajiyang. Mani Kikum Bukam. We can trust Malgus for one reason. He's acting out of self-interest. He hates Darth Arho more than he hates us. Niba Gaklamka. Gakyam. Glaknimu Amya Galak. Umnuk Inu Nemnu. Amka Aka Memperlak Balak. I know you're working with someone inside the Empire. Give me the traitor's name! Sorry. I'm not too good with names. I remember faces. Maybe if you show me some holograms. There are nine levels of pain we can inflict. That was level three. Remember it before your next answer. Step away from Supreme Commander Rands. Now. You killed Lord Loyat. You will pay dearly for taking my apprentice from me. You abandoned her when she called on you for help. She had to prove herself. She knew the price of failure. Now you will earn the price of defying me. Destroy her. Let Loyat's defeat be avenged by her screams of torment. my life. We all do. Chuba uno bunko cheno manata. Arho knows we're here. He's going to send reinforcements. You're right. I can hear them coming down the hall. We have no armor, no weapons. You have to hold them off and give us a chance to escape. De beska kukape ma watabo. Tenya nucha dubota. Made it back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. Did the rest of the Republic prisoners make it back? Every last one of them. Our medics are looking them over. Some of them were in pretty bad shape. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Darth Aho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface, to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. There's no way he pulled up enough resources to equip his fleet before I disabled the deep miners. Even with prototypes in only a handful of ships, Arho will have a weapon to lash out at Republic Worlds. Arho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Aho grows suspicious. 
figures. As soon as there's any risk to himself, our ally leaves us out in the cold. He's a servant of the dark side. Self-preservation will always be his first priority. There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. Do you know what the temperature is out there? I've got frostbite on my... Somewhere you really don't want to get frostbite. I know this has been hard, but Karawar and Jiandar are already leading troops against key Imperial installations. I can't afford to send anyone else. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. Just in time. We're discussing our final attack plans. The Imperial troops have fallen back inside the Jedi Temple. Darth Arho refuses to surrender. He knows it could take weeks before we break the Imperial defenses and reclaim the Temple. Fortunately, there is another way in. An underground escape tunnel built centuries ago. We need you to infiltrate the Temple through the escape tunnel while we engage the Imperials outside. What about our man on the inside? Is he going to help? No recent contact. Malgus seems to have disappeared. But at least we know his followers aren't supporting our own. I know the temple well. If you clear the way, I can lead a team of Jedi to capture key strategic locations, like the armory. Without Master Bowden's Jedi, our troops will suffer greater casualties. But it might be worth it to get your hands on the armory equipment. Those weapons could swing this entire battle. Our troops understand that. If the Jedi are going to help secure the temple, someone is going to have to engage Darth Arho's Sith followers on the battlefield. Be careful, Jian. The Sith are unlike any enemy you have ever faced. You only have to distract them, not defeat them. What about air support, Commander? The Sullustan pilots are itching for a chance to avenge Yet Jub. I share their pain, but the temple houses many irreplaceable artifacts that are unlikely to survive a series of airstrikes. It's your call. Your mission to infiltrate the temple will be a lot harder without air support. Those artifacts could turn out to be useful in our war against the Empire. We can't risk having them destroyed. You heard the Jedi, Bradbur. Keep the Celestines grounded. Copy that, Supreme Commander. Here is the location of the escape tunnel into the Jedi Temple. Go there now. My people will follow once you've cleared the way. I'll send you updates on the progress of the battle. Good luck. I should have known they'd send a Jedi to retake the temple. You may have won the battle for Ilum, but the war is far from over. Even if you defeat the Empire a thousand times, we will always rise again. Sorry. The Empire's going to have to rise up without you next time. Your death will be an inspiration to all who serve the Empire. Victory is ours. All Imperials on Ilum have surrendered. But success was costly. <laughs> There would be casualties, and we needed the Angri to hold off the Sith. Uh. I know as a Jedi you expect no reward, but I want to give you something for your efforts to save the artifacts inside the Jedi Temple. Commander, you read me? 
Just picked up a transmission from Darth Malchus. Haven't we done enough for him already? I'd say we've done plenty. You'd better take a listen. I intercepted this message as it was being broadcast across all standard Imperial communications channels. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire. Too long the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith and warriors everywhere, I declare a new Empire, open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. I suspected he'd betray us, but this is something else. The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Seravin in supporting me, cast aside your titles and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. I'll say this for Darth Malchus. He's got charisma. That's what makes him so dangerous. If he unites the surviving Imperial commanders, this war will start up all over again. I know I've asked too much of you already, but we have to take Darth Malchus out. And soon. The Sith stab each other in the back every chance they get. If we sit back and do nothing, one of his own people will take him out. Not right away. You heard the message. Malgus has the support of too many other Sith Lords. And once he consolidates his position, his stealth armada is sure to challenge the Republic. We have to take him out before that happens. I must confer with our top military minds. Equip yourself for battle, then hurry to join our meeting. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. <laughs>